We are unveiling a special exhibition that I'm really personally incredibly excited about. Uh, it was built to honor the 50th anniversary of Roberto Clemente's 3000th hit. And we partnered with the Clemente family uh, and the Puerto Rican newspaper on Nueva Dia to present uh, really a remarkable collection of images, many of which or most of which were not published originally, portraying and capturing Clemente in a beautiful light, portraying intimate moments leading up to and after his 3000th hit. And I hope everybody takes a chance really to look at it. I have, and it's, it's it, frankly, it's amazing. I, th I think it really goes to the, the heart of who Roberto Clemente was. He was not only one of the greatest baseball players ever to be on the field in Pittsburgh, uh, just when you see some of the videos, and I'm not old enough to have watched them, but you know, when you see the videos of him playing, the athleticism, the ability on the field was simply outstanding. But really what made him stand apart was the additional commitment to the humanitarian effort, his commitment to giving back, his commitment to the community. Uh, we've never had a player who has had a bigger heart and had a, a, a larger commitment. So his tragic death, uh, you know, as he was on a humanitarian mission, galvanized everyone's memory. And so we try to keep that alive. We try to respect uh, that history and that legacy. Uh, we do it throughout Pirates Charities, we do it throughout the year, and we really celebrate on Clemente Day. O sea, es una sensación bien difícil de, de describir, porque tú llegas aquí, sabes que aquí donde ¿verdad? vivió Clemente por tanto tiempo, y ver de momento esta exhibición con fotos que nunca habían sido publicadas, te da una satisfacción tremenda de poder traer algo de Puerto Rico, algo de la historia, a su segunda casa. Así que es realmente un, un momento muy especial, yo creo que para todos los que hemos estado envueltos en, en este proyecto. To start this week here in Ground Zero, where, where my father came up in 1955, and this unbelievable relationship with the city of Pittsburgh and the fans. Um, it's amazing that 50 years later, we're still um, talking about that relationship and that love and respect towards him and the family. So we thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. Comenzando aquí ahora con esta exhibición que está espectacular, la gente de Pittsburgh va a estar muy, muy contenta cuando vengan aquí a poder ver la, las imágenes del nuevo día, que esperamos que sigan viniendo porque son tantas que hay que hay que seguir trayendo más. ¿no?